Here we're going to solve a problem which appeared in J in 2023. In this particular problem, we are having a set S which contains the solution of the given equation, right? So therefore, right, we need to find out how many solutions are existed, right? Real solution exists for this given equation in the form root 3 plus 2, root 3 plus root 2, whole 2, 3 plus something and all that stuff, right? That's it. So basically, we need to solve this equation and obtain the real x. And that's it. So let's go ahead and proceed to the solution section. To solve this problem, first, we consider the equation. You see that here. Uh, we are having root 3 plus root 2 and root 3 minus root 2. So here we have to make an important observation that if I multiply this two, right, we using and multiply using a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square, then it will be 3 minus 2 and that's why 1. So therefore, <clears throat> these two terms are reciprocal of each other. So therefore, we can say that root 3 plus root 2 must be equal to 1 by root 3 minus root 2 and that's it. So this is a very important observation to solve this particular problem. Now we consider, right, that t is equal to root 3 plus root 2 whole to the power x square minus 4. And hence, root 3 minus root 2 whole to the power x minus 4 will be 1 by t, which is very straightforward. So therefore, with this assumption, the given equation will be reduced to t plus 1 by t is equal to 10. Let's multiply both sides by t and get a quadratic equation on t, which gives us t square minus 10 t plus 1. Now, as we get a quadratic equation, and we can easily observe that middle term factorization is not that simple for this particular problem. So that's why we use the general solution of a quadratic equation. Was that a x squared a x squared plus b x plus c equal to zero? The solution will be minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4 c by 2a. So if we apply that, right, we able to obtain the value of t. And if we uh, simplify the value of t, right, we get it as in the simple form as 5 plus minus 2 root 6. So these are the solution of the given quadratic equation in the form of t. But here we are looking to find out the value of x. So that's why uh, we just try to rewrite this uh, solution uh, in the form of square so that we can equate the powers and all that stuff. So that's why. We rewrite this t as 3 plus 2 and plus minus 2 plus root 2 into root 6. So therefore, you can see that it will be equal easily written as, as root 3 plus minus root 2 holds. So therefore, for this particular equation t square minus 10 t plus 1, we obtain the solution in a square form. Okay, that's it. So here, this is a small trick we used. Now, let's proceed and see how we obtain the value of x from here onwards. So let's go ahead and proceed. We see here that t or x square minus uh, root 3 plus root 2 whole to the power x square minus 4 are having two values, right? Uh, root plus minus sign. So here we consider two cases. First, we consider the plus sign and case 2, we consider the minus sign. So first, we concentrate on the case 1. Now, in case 1, it's a very straightforward thing. Because we know that if a to the power m is equal to a to the power n, then m and n are equal. It is very basic. We learned it in class 9. So therefore, here we can easily obtain that x square minus 4 is equal to 2, which gives us x is equal to plus minus root 6. So x is equal to plus minus root 6 will be the solution of that uh, given equation. So they are the member of the set. Now we concentrate on case 2. But in case 2, see that the uh, basis that root 3 plus 2 and other side will be root 3 minus 2. So these are not same. So that's why we change that root 3 minus root 2 to root 3 plus root 2. How? We know that these are reciprocal of each other. So therefore, we can easily say that now root x square minus 4 will be equal to minus 2. And that's why we get x square x is equal to plus minus root 2. So therefore, the solution of the given equations are plus minus root 2 and plus minus root 6. And that's it.
as we already seen that the set s contains all the solution or the real solution of the given equation right so therefore therefore we can easily go ahead and say that the set s contains these four elements only that plus minus root 2 and plus minus root 6 so therefore n is that represent the number of element in the set is equal to 4 and that's why option b for this particular problem is the correct answer and that's it. Hope you understood the problem. Thank you.